Hello, I'm Gordana from Wavefront. In this video, I will show you how to monitor serverless functions with powerful and yet simple Wavefront AWS Lambda SDK. Let's start with how to get to proper integration page. Wavefront has over 160 integration tiles and the easiest way to navigate is to enter integration name into search field. When you type AWS Lambda, AWS Lambda and AWS Lambda function styles pop up. This is because Wavefront continues to support customers who monitor standard AWS Lambda function metrics through CloudWatch. Through CloudWatch, metrics are pulled with five minutes delay and one minute granularity into Wavefront service. This is excellent way to obtain quick non-production snapshot. For production, you want your metrics real time and with one second granularity. New Wavefront AWS Lambda Function SDK integration for Python, Go, and Node.js gives you just that. When you enter into setup, you can see how easy it is to configure Wavefront and to instrument your serverless function. For Python, all you have to do is decorate your AWS Lambda handler function, and with an additional line or two of a code, you get your application metrics set directly to Wavefront. Now it's time to visit the dashboard. Before diving into the charts, I will summarize how serverless work. Serverless runs function code on demand. You first upload your function to AWS, and AWS provider deploys your code in a container so that it is completely abstracted and hidden from you. It takes care of all infrastructure and automatically scales your application. In the end, you just pay for the serverless function's execution time in milliseconds. Even driven applications are ideal fit for serverless computing. In this case, thumbnail service is monitored. In short, images land in AWS S3 buckets and S3 object notification triggers AWS Lambda function to generate a thumbnail. Focusing now on serverless dashboard in front of us, you can see aggregated and individual function level metrics. At an aggregated level, you can view a summary of overall usage of AWS Lambda functions in your account. Total execution time of all serverless function invocations gives you an excellent estimate of total serverless costs. Next to it are total number of invocations and total error percentage of invoked but interrupted serverless functions. Just below are metrics statistics per serverless function and charts with average execution time, invocation, and error rate by function. From then, you can see which AWS Lambda function gets more traffic and decide whether to focus your effort on further code optimization. If you scroll further down, you will see similar statistics and charts for particular serverless function, in this case, thumbnail service. In addition to standard metrics, there is a new Wavefront AWS Lambda function called total number of cold starts. Cold start is when new container is created for serverless function invocation. Cold start takes more time than warm start where container is reused. Also, we have here usage rate, and it is based on allocated resources for concurrent serverless function invocations. All these per function metrics enable you to further drill down into your serverless application. In the end, just to mention that Wavefront has released new metrics type, Delta counters. Delta counters aggregate metrics at service side. Delta counters benefits are speeding up query performance and increasing accuracy since no metrics is lost in case of concurrent bursty serverless traffic. This was brief Wavefront AWS Lambda Function SDK integration introduction. Once you get your serverless data flowing, Slack us for any further help. Or if you haven't tried Wavefront yet, visit wavefront.com and sign up for your free self-service trial. Thank you for watching Wavefront Serverless Enhancement Demo.